I'm David Lamb of Metalware SPA, a joint stock company located in Italy that is responsible for the communication activities of the Caspar project. Caspar is a digital preservation project that is co-financed by the European Union within its sixth framework programme. So, how can digital data still be used and understood in the future when systems, software and everyday knowledge continues to change? This is the Caspar Challenge. Caspar intends to offer a methodological and technological solution to digital preservation within the ICT market. Caspar is a unique operating system which allows it to interoperate with as many systems as possible. It can be implemented using any kind of emerging technology and is applicable to multiple domains, including both public and private organisations. Let's have a look at what the Caspar project has to offer. years ago, cultural heritage sites were documented by expeditions doing some sketches on paper and we were keeping the paper. But today we are starting to have very complex digital models that are the result of laser scanning and a very complex process that produce uh, 3D models that the experts can then analyze and we should preserve these objects for them. Basically, if I am not technical, Caspar is the archaeologist of the future, is the archaeologist that in 100 years or 200 years from here is going to find the digital data and it's going to interpret this data and use it in the same way that we are using it now, independent that some software providers will not be there and some hardware devices will not be there. Today in UNESCO we received the data from 193 countries and this makes a very complex process, different formats, different uh, processes of creating the data and therefore we need to document all this so that any future generation can also interpret and understand the data. Sometimes we all have faced when we cannot see anymore or we cannot read anymore one of our texts in the computer and that then we need to do a reformatting of that object in order to see it. So that is a first step of preservation is to change the, the format of the object. However, as we can see in this example, sometimes an image isolated out of its context doesn't mean anything. We need to have the knowledge of what it represents, that image, when it was taken and why it was taken. So there is also the need to preserve that knowledge. And sometimes also we need to preserve the whole process that created that digital object so that in the future we can reproduce it. What I want to show you is how to use our web application in order to field some metadata about this example of 3D scanner reconstruction. All you need is a web, a web browser, then you load the application and you need to log in. Once you log in, you can instantiate a new kind of project. The application will show you which kind of, uh, of projects are available. And you start to fill in some metadata. You can fill in, for example, the name of the project. So we can define that this is the armadillo, armadillo scanning. We can add an activity. For, for us, an activity was the laser scanning of the real physical model. We can upload the file and then save it. Once the project uh, are completely described and the field, all the required fields were, were filled, the, um, the old metadata were translated in, in the CDOC internal schema and then they are stored in IP using the Caspar facilities. 
In summary, what we are doing with Caspar is providing examples of cultural heritage uh, sites and objects that Caspar is assisting us in identifying all the information that is necessary to preserve. Is the preservation of the digital object itself, is the preservation of the information associated to the object, and is the preservation of the whole process that created the object. So we are looking forward for the results of Caspar in order to preserve our digital heritage. Many initiatives are working on standards for digital preservation, but Caspar goes that one step further, as not only does it intend to preserve the data, but also the necessary knowledge that we require to interpret the data. We could say that Caspar is as important to digital data as the Rosetta Stone was for the interpretation of the Egyptian language. Thanks for listening. <laughs>